it's Durvin here and uh, I'm joining in the um, Lord of the Rings paint off that's going on um, since I'm doing it anyway uh, I've been painting madly uh, I think last time I showed you the Minas Tirith arches that were in progress so they're all finished off that means I finally finished my 24 Minas Warriors of Minas Tirith um, who I've had since the Return of the King box set came out, so that's been a while. Uh, I've also painted up Faramir uh, on foot, armoured Faramir on foot, uh, him uh, on horse as well. Uh, I made a little shield for him because I want to add a shield, so I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do a little round shield like that for him. Um, so he's like a mini Boromir, uh, or if I'll somehow get a Minas Tirith shield, I don't know. I've got, um, Boromir, um, this is, I've had this one for ages, this is the metal one that, this banner is so thick and so heavy, it's crazy. Still need to finish doing off the design, but, um, he's a cool miniature. I did another three ranges, so I did these ones in blue, just to match some of the others. They're done. I've got another three to go, who I'll do with red tunics. Um, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, I finished up a banner for my dwarves. I like him. Again, I might do a shield for him. Then I bought the box, the uh, Pelennor, um, Pelennor Fields box set, which is awesome box set, and managed to do 20 Warriors of the Dead in a weekend, which now makes me want to have a whole army of them since they're so fast to paint up. I just did a airbrush, um, black, grey, 45, white from the top. And then put a wash on them, which was like a 50-50 mix of um, Null Oil and this old Way Watches green glaze. Um, I think if you just use their green wash, you'll get the same effect. And then a dry brush with, uh, uh, what was it? It's oh, Antique White. It was just one of the kids' craft paints. Um, seemed to work really well. And then finally, I'm over here working on the orcs currently. So we got the Moranon orcs. Uh, I've broken them into groups and I've got just some mortal orcs who I've had. Well, they came with the Warriors of Minas Tirith. So I've, while I've got some of them painted, there are others I haven't. I've just sort of put in line with these guys. So I've done skin color groups basically. So this is the blue skin the sort of beige skin and then the green skin at the back. <clears throat> um, just going to work through and do all the Moranon Orcs. I just thought I'd do the skin of the Mordor Orcs with them. Um, so this first group are almost done. I'm trying to just do them quickly. I've just got to do the finish off the wood on them. Um, I don't know, they're not bad. The, the, you know, the time I'm spending on them, I'm trying to get them out quick just because there are so many of them. Um, I'm not good at painting hordes. Anyway, that's where I'm up to. I'm really just going to push on with these guys. I've got, I'll try and finish my other three ranges. Um, and I've got King, uh, Aragon the King, um, on foot and mounted. So I'll try and get him. That'll be the last of my Minas Tirith. I need to actually sit back and think about what I'm going to buy. And if I can ever get a hold of the King of the Dead, I'll get him and paint him, but he's never in stock. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, I'll talk to you in the next one.